Is there water around anywhere? Hey, Luke, tell me water. You guys ready? Um, uh, first off, let me say this again. Uh, give Kentucky uh, a lot of credit for their willingness to play this game. Um, they didn't have to play it. Uh, their willingness to, uh, you know, donate some money to our community in the state of Kentucky. So uh, I told Cal, you know, they had nothing to gain but playing the game. He knows that. And that's why he hadn't played it. But uh, um, give them credit. But today, I mean, we have no no answers. You know, sometimes you just got to say the other team was better. And they were better in every area. Um, again, I don't have no answers for everything they did. I just know when they play like that, uh, they were the best team in America today. And, again, they come out of a game last Saturday, I guess, when they beat North Carolina by 30 on a neutral court. So it's kind of not new. They did it on their home court today. But uh, they were – their speed was quicker than we anticipated. Now, you got to score some so you get back play zone. We weren't able to score enough. We ended up playing more man than we wanted to. But the speed of Wheeler changed the game in transition. Uh, it wore us out some. Then they made shots. Then you cap that with, it uh, seemed like every rebound, it was 50-50, they got every one of them. Uh, you know, Oscar gets whatever it was, 28 anyway. So he got every one, no matter what it was. So, again, um, whatever things we didn't do very well, that was because of Kentucky. And again, we had no answers for everything they did today. I'll repeat this. Uh, nobody would have beat them today. Uh, Coach Jared McDonald with the Daily News. Jamarion went out with about 13 and a half to play. Do you have any update on him? Uh, no real update, except, you know, we think it's just a spring, spring ankle. But, um, you know, we're not going to make no excuses. Him being out of the game for sure. They'd already made that run back on us. Uh, you know, we cut it to four the second half. Um, first, probably two minutes of the second half goes to nine to four. But at that point, we had Kenny three broken plays. Broken play, we turned it over. It came down and hit a three. Jamar shot a 15-footer. Um, that's not his strength. Led to another three-pointer. Then we missed two free throws. So it goes from four to 12 in about a minute and a half. At that point, we never could keep it four long enough to tighten them up a little bit, uh, give us a little bit more confidence, because uh, it didn't last about a minute and a half. And from there on, uh, they, whatever they did, uh, whatever we did wasn't right, whatever they did uh, was right from the next 13, 14 minutes, whatever it was, 15 minutes. Coach Muhammad Ahmad from WBKO. Um, they talked about how there's no excuses what happened with Jamarion, but you guys cut it to about four, just a few minutes into the second half. But what changed from there? I know you touched on Oscar Shibway and Severe Wheeler, but what else really was it that made you guys kind of trail away from there? Hey, listen. Um, Grady, Washington, choose you whatever it was. Uh, there was no things we could take advantage of out there today in any way, even in zone. You know, first half, I thought we give up. We give up way too many baskets around the rim. Something we hadn't been doing a lot in twenty in zone. They were scoring around that rim. And and again, Oscar's a big load athletic guy in there. Collins, uh, Brooks, and those guys are long and athletic. You know, it didn't help. We got Jarius in foul trouble to start the game. That didn't help. I mean, we had short bench as it was, um, and that just made it shorter. He was no factor all day long. Uh, no, didn't get a rebound. So that messed with him too. But but through all these things we talk about, make sure everybody understands, um, Tucky was just better. Uh, they were just better in every area. And again, today, I'll repeat myself. Uh, they, they were the best team in the country today, and nobody would have beat them in here. Coach Keith Farmer from LEX 18. What is it about Sheepway from your perspective that he's able to get those rebounds? It's really tough. You know, it's really easy. This is what he's always been about. I thought this, I saw him as a high school guy. 
you know, rebounding is about, about, about half ability and the other half's about wheel, the wheel, that motor. He did that in high school. One thing to separate him from every other big guy in the country was his motor on the offensive boards. He just has always done that. Then naturally now, Cal's got him scoring a little bit. So when you score a little bit too, that just gives you more energy. He's got a lot better offensively. Uh, you know, we played him last year uh, when he's at West Virginia. Um, he's not even close to the player offensively he was. So give their staff a lot of credit. They've done a good job developing him. But he's got a motor. He's got a motor, uh, you know, and uh, he takes a lot of pride in rebounding. That's why he's the best in the country at it. 28 rebounds? I ain't never had nobody go get 28 rebounds. Coach uh, Maxwell Trey. Who Sorry, I got, Maxwell? Who have I got? Uh, just, you know, these last four games, just an emotional return to to Bowling Green after the tornado, all the three nationally televised games. What what has these last four games meant to you? And is it, you know, something that will you will take for the rest of the year? Well, you know, um, you know, when it when overall miss down in Atlanta after tornadoes. Uh, special and you'll beat Louisville was special and you know having the opportunity to come up here was a great opportunity for us I mean uh, you know, this one these games here you know we'll sweep it on the rug move on just better and nothing broke with us uh, like our team a bunch our team came in here playing playing really well uh, really well uh, so you know uh, what our guys have done in the last week and a half or two weeks whatever it's been now since the tornado has been really special uh, the way they've played and uh, you know, where they've come together, and uh, you know, and I know it's been a it's been a ch tough challenge on you know the state and our community, but you know, hopefully there's, there's a lot of positive things that come from this. I know tonight, you know, playing this game, you know, Kentucky's going to donate I think two hundred thousand dollars, whatever that number is, hundred thousand uh, dollars, which is a lot of money. Uh, and that's going to help a lot of people in our community. Uh, Coach, this is Kaden with the Herald. Um, you know, another a big test for Demarion going up against Oscar tonight. You know, particularly in the first half. What did you think of his performance overall before he went down? You know, um, you know he was he was good. He was good. Um, again, considering what he's going up against, he's going up against multiple multiple big guys. Um, I thought fatigue got to him some. I didn't think. Even though he had seven blocks tonight in whatever minutes he played, I still thought he got fatigued. And he has the right to get fatigued. Uh, those big old bodies banging on him. Uh, and he's having to get back in transition so quick. When you're not scoring, you're having to get back in man defense because Wheeler is pushing that thing. He's pushing or he's pitching ahead. And a big man's got to get back. So, again, I'm going to say that, that that changed their ability to do that now. Uh, was different, probably we anticipated right there. Uh, Willer's ability to push it and pitch ahead those guys. Over 40 minutes, over 25 minutes, it took a toll on us. It wore us out. Uh, Coach Jared with the Daily News. Um, you guys start Conference USA play up next. Um, you know, I guess looking back at the non-conference played as a whole, what are your biggest takeaways about the squad that you have? Hey, Jared, I, I like where our team's at. Uh, yeah, we're disappointed in the loss today, but it has nothing to do with the way I feel about my team. Sometimes this shit just happens. <laughs> uh, give them credit. I'm going to keep saying, give them credit. Um, so I like my team. Uh, like the way we've been playing, like where we're at, like our chemistry, like our rhythm. Um, so I'm not going to let today dampen anything about our team, how I feel about them, how we've been performing. I mean, what they've done against Ole Miss, uh, big stage, and against Louisville last week, um, you know, it tells you potential of our team. So I'm not going to let the day take away from any of that. Sometimes you just, hey, go in and take a shower and wash it off, put it behind you and forget about it and move on. Today's one of those days. Uh, Coach, this is Caden again. Um, you know, you played about four teams in the state uh, throughout the season so far. You know, would you like to see more competition between more teams in Kentucky? Caden, I think it's always good. You know, I would say today, and I'm not going to speak out of turn, but Keith will probably tell us this. 
Keith, it's the biggest crowd you had up in here all year long, right? Right, okay, thumbs up means right. So, you know, people came out for a good opponent, his in-state opponent. Those games are always good, uh, whoever they are. Uh, where it's Louisville, where it's Kentucky. And uh, so those are always good games. I think it brings, brings an extra little bit of, you know, spice to it when it's in-state school. Mm -hmm. All right. All right.